Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL 46 Grand Final. In the booth with me is Fymir and Calcium. Hello. Hello, here we are in the final. Malalanus with his rats versus the mysterious sniper in on 8000. That could be me or not. <laughs> yep. Depends I mean... on the result of the game. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be the I am Spartacus uh, moment. <laughs> so I think Calcium's on the phone at the moment. So Sniperino won the toss and chose to kick. I'm pretty sure because I'm pretty sure the uh, rats would choose to go on defense. It would get more chance of the one turner and more pressure with their wizard. Uh, Sniperino was higher TV by about 200 or something, and he overdogged the wizard because you know he's already overdog. Why not? So Malalanus has got a wizard and a babe and a. A mercenary a lineman and a mercenary thrower, yeah. So he's got a bench of two. So, I mean, that's great for him, isn't it? He wants the players um, so that he can, you know... Because he's probably going to take attrition due to this crazy kill team. But there's not that much tackle on the Chaos. So he's got a chance. Uh, it should be very interesting. Of course, Malalanus' main chance is the Edge 5 and the Edge 6. Effectively, Edge 5 and a half and Edge 5. <laughs> Plus the Wizard is going to be his main route to winning. But yeah, if... If the Chaos can get on top of him and then maybe his attrition fireball, like not attrition fireball, but position attrition fireball, could be really bad for, uh, for, for it's going to be tricky for Malalanus for sure. Now he's got, I think, in a, he's going to try to get the stall, go for the quick score. I thought the uh, thrower, uh, the mercenary thrower was going to be the bold bitch. The wall carrier, you know? Asur hands. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you would think so. Um, I wonder if he'll try and quick score because it gets him on defense with the wizard. Maybe because he doesn't want to. I mean, it's usually a losing strategy to score quickly, but what you don't want to do is your drive to get all, you know, bent out of shape and then fireballed or bolted and stuff. It's pretty rough, isn't it? I love scoring early here, Jim. Um, you know, hitting them quick and fast, chipping, up, getting the odd armor break. So, you know, that Chaos Warrior armor break there is significant, isn't it? Um, I, I, I think that's exactly the right thing to do here. The question is, uh, Malanis has no killing power at all. He only has one mighty blow. So being able to stall and trying to achieve something could be very difficult, but also trying to defend. Yeah, but if you go 2-0 up, early doors so say turn four turn five you know you use a wizard to break sniperino's drive and you go two nil up then sniper sniperino's pissing in the wind from there on in isn't he he really is even with a wizard yeah and the good thing about scoring you know maybe he's not in two turns oh my god but oh, you can just the bash, the bash <laughs> team jim you know yep yep <laughs> yep that all works. right oh guess wrestled though but yeah, there's a, there's a lot of strength and guard and mighty blow, and you're trading mighty blow hits for a claw palm hit. Like it's it's not great, but if you can score, even if you score on four or whatever, giving them like four turns to score, then you can use the wizard to turn them over, and then they, you know, like you you don't have to stall it, right? So it it, it is interesting. Like a lot of the time, if they've got a, if you kick and you turn them over with the wizard. And then you can't stall the whole half, can you? Now, like, ideally, you want to stall the whole half after you turn them over. So, by scoring early-ish, and then it makes the wizard easier in a way. So, it'll be interesting. Yeah. Uh, tuna sandwich, truly notorious. <laughs> Not a bag of dicks. <laughs> um, I think it's 11 players left on Sniperino's team with that death. Yeah, straight 11. Dark Force. Neperino has the uh, 12 uh, players and. Uh, or did he already use the Apo now? No, so, yeah, that's, that's a. Gargo. No, you, don't, you wouldn't use the Apo there. No, um, no, you no. Know, it's the last game that this either team's ever going to play, so you literally couldn't care less <laughs> about <laughs> crappier players, could you? There's a question that Malanes has there. He has not to worry about the team surviving, you know, he can sacrifice everything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's it's interesting that aspect, isn't it? Because obviously you do want the players for this game as well. So like you can't you can't be too blasé about with them. But 
Yeah, you but can risk them a bit. It was a guard uh, goat, and he has an extra guard goat on the bench, so it's all right. Oh yeah, Sniperino was never going to have all that, no. But like, for Malalanus, like playing a bit, you know, carefree, he can't he still can't go totally crazy, can he? Big dodge there. Is he sure? He sure wants to pr pr protect this gutter, but he hasn't protected it. No, he hasn't, has he? He's left that gutter high and dry. I wish he'd done that versus me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Just I, I can see a claw pump hit on the gutter with three dice. Yeah. Just a straight line. That was pretty horrible, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually put him there is okay because there's the tackler, right? So the tackler would have to run around him, so it kind of makes sense. But I mean, I would have just put the I would have put the storm vermin here. Yeah, but then you then uh, not here. Yeah, the storm vermin here. No, I don't. It's probably that. Probably the protecting that. I guess just not putting the gutter here was the thing, right? The gutter could have just yeah. been back a couple. Still, how do you stop a bunch of tooled up gutter runners? The answer is you don't. <laughs> no, no, you've got to, you just got to get lucky when you get to hit them, haven't you? That's the thing. Yeah. The only thing that can stop tooled up gutter runners is nuffle. Yeah. One in 36. <laughs> That's what stops the uh, gutter runners. Same thing that stops my wood elves every flipping time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. More than a, at least three, four times per game, to be precise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Hello, Sledge as well, and everybody else. Alan said hello to Hello. Oh, there's been a poll. Thanks. Thanks for making the poll. Prediction. Whatever. Whatever it's called. <laughs> Whatever the hell it is. Ori, when Jim's playing, uh, the likelihood of 1 in 36, especially with a natty, is 1 in 1. <laughs> yeah. Every single time. It's just every single time. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, wow. There's the wrestle. It wrestles so good, isn't it? it? It really is so good defensively. I love it. I love it. So, do you switch... Switch yes. sides of the pitch here, run as far away from that tackler as possible. Yep, yep, movement nine is good, I hear. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it lets him maximise blocks, doesn't it, which is... And if he wants to be super rowdy, he can uh, serve one of the tacklers. Yeah, yeah, he, he could have actually done that, yeah. Yeah. It's not. It's not that bad a shout, is it? But I think. I, I think. I think I like. I think I like going, just switching I mean, and you bringing still the can do it away. without the blitzing. It's just the red dice. Yeah, but you're also exposing yourself, aren't you? I think he just two pluses away, and wow, terrible blocks, wasn't it? Push, push, and both down with wrestle. Like if this had been three pals, he's super solid. Pedro, hello, Ori, man. S -s 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 exposing himself. Yeah, he, he, I mean, yeah, it would have, what, it have been a 1D, potentially, with Dauntless to, to push him and then an uphill to surf him. Well, it wouldn't have been terrible. It wouldn't, it it's, really wouldn't be. You're getting three dice back, aren't you, is the problem, which is... Yes, is uh, you exchange uh, one of the pieces you want to get rid of, the tackler, but you expose uh, a lot of your team to get destroyed. Yeah. Yeah, he has. Yeah, it's arguable whether he should have he, he should have followed up those or not. I mean, I think he shouldn't have followed those up. This one's harder to to not follow though because he could just come around the side, right? So he'd have had to have uh, he'd have had a double GFI to screen if he didn't follow. So this follows more acceptable. This one is a bit dodgier. Because he's going to stand this guy up anyway, so he's just you're just making him assist. Why has he put his gutter runner centre pitch like that, within range of that mighty blow tackler? 
Um, because if he blitzes him, then he's not blitzing the other things, and he'll get downfield and and score it's a big later. Big target, but though, isn't it? It is. Big it's target. A huge target. How he wins the game. So yeah. Yeah. Yes. And right now, if this dodge fails, oof, there was a perfect shot in the in the two heads uh, piece with the tackler uh, with the ball carrier. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. now that's avoid. Well, still, still, you can do it. Yeah. So many good targets. Yeah, he's like edge five. He can just hit the. He can just come in and hit the ball easily. It's not even hard, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. <coughs> oh, he can go. He can just make an extra dodge. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once a one GFI, and like a three plus dodge with dodge. So it's pretty. That's pretty easy to hit two D on the ball, isn't it? If he wants it. And if not, he also has the chance of going for the two heads uh, gutter. I, th I think three the... dice with mighty blow is what he'll do, though. Try and bang out this edge five because. Oh yeah. You're probably not going to stop his offense, but what you can do is stop his offense on your offense <laughs> when he just, you know, he uses the wizard to win the game. Like, if you take out both edge five, then. His wizard is probably doesn't win in the match anymore, does it? No follow up, no pom, no balls. Yeah, interesting. Disgusting. Interesting, because he just gets tagged off one on one. There yeah. anyway, if he wants to. Yes. And that piece doesn't have a tackle, so it's not going to be, you know, one of the. It's not going to be the one blitzing. Oh. Oh, Dietrich, it's, uh, it's interesting that rats have been exposed but not killed. The fact that they only dead is when a beast, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Malalanus living a bit of a charmed life thus far. The overdogs have ingested a wizard, so there's like scum, not a scum, just bought a wizard. It did, it does give the you know correct amount of inducements back. So the 40k limit of a spending of your own money is for the underdog? Yes, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Um, I mean, game almost game over is a little bit of an exaggeration or analysis, but yes, if it, the Edge 5 is the only real important player, right? The Edge 5 and the Edge 6 for the Wizard is wins the game regardless of what else he's got but yeah obviously every every removal helps <laughs> so it's the old adage that i keep going to if you don't remove high movement agility teams they're going to ruin your day yep <laughs> this hit that he gave up for free though and that was a bit of a weird base i thought you're not going to make him dodge you're just going to make him punch you and in one of the most important pieces you have. Yeah, yeah. Like this is this is a bit massive, massive risk for Sniper Eno to take. And hello, Hellboy! Amazing, amazing oh. new video. I don't know if it's out yet, but now that's what I call Hellboy Volume One. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's just so good, isn't it? So good. Uh, the Rick's Wrecking Ball one is my personal favourite. I just, it's just yes. the best. All of <laughs> them are glorious. All of yeah, them yeah. are absolutely yeah. glorious. <clears throat> I developed a bit of an accent. There, there is five here and calcium here. <laughs> Chat. It's going to be unlisted. Oh, okay. Okay. Ah, very good. 
Very good, Hellboy. <laughs> Make Ooh, people now... hit the YouTubes. This big, huge hit here. Huge hit. Bricks AV. Oh, he's cast him! Oh, cast him! Brutal. He's stand up. He's stand up. Oh, oh my god! There you go. Apple works. Ooh. Now, I don't want to say idiotic, oh, but um, <laughs> that, that rather... That rather... You know, controversial base, instantly punished. Obviously, has to reroll this away from yep. the tackle. Who are we to say if it was right or wrong, Jim? Yeah. But it was fucking horrible. Yep. <laughs> Do you reckon Orleans is? I don't think it was. I don't think it was because that's like. That's literally everything to the Chaos team. This guy is everything to the Chaos team. And he didn't randomly base with threat with Aj5 and the Aj6 last turn. It was it was blocks that he followed. I dunno, of all the players that you should really be protecting as the Chaos coach. Surely your ball carrier is one of them. <laughs> yeah, he's your best def he's your best defensive player, and he's crucial for your offense because you know yes, he's he got strip. If if you if you if Karen and anyone else they get stripped, and yeah, he's at five on defense and at five for breaking through screens. He's an amazing player. I mean, the odds of getting cast, you know, by a random block without the. Uh, might have or anything are low, but they are not zero. <laughs> yeah. Unlike Jim's uh, chances of making a natty one turn touchdown, <laughs> they are zero. <laughs> yes. Way. <laughs> <laughs> Too soon, man. Too soon. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is the player died before reaching a uh, 76, so we we'll never know it was going to be leap or a sure fit. <laughs> Sniper really needs a death here, doesn't he? He really needs a removal. Oh, he's not got two heads. I was being not. blind and stupid. He hasn't got two heads. Yeah, I did wonder what you guys were on about there, but I thought, do you know what? I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. I was, <laughs> I was just... <laughs> do you know what I was doing? I realised I was thinking of Elliot's one against me, that he had two heads to <laughs> me. Oh, dear. Yeah, El Elliot's one had two heads. <laughs> But well, no. uh, Flicky, <laughs> it have the to thing is, all. when you have five claw, mighty blow, and claw bomb, <laughs> do you have, have more than a few of them? But ball carrier, you only have one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are for this, though, aren't they, Flicky? Because all of the claws are relevant. So, all of the claw is irrelevant. Yes, and it's your ball carrier, which also has tackle. You know, the one that can. Uh, yeah. Uh, maximize the wizard, doing a blitz, and then pick up the ball. Yeah. He's used the tackles well, though, this half. It has it has sucked off two re-rolls, because now he doesn't want to use the last re-roll, does he? But um, he might have to here, because this is this is good pressure. Both two balls, you know, the, the ball, the two tackles are on his ball. <laughs> Sucking off re-rolls, starring Jimmy Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he can hand up, but he's still got to dodge away from from uh, from tackle. tackle yes, he? whatever he has to do, he involves rolling some days because all his team is based. Yeah. Yes, this sidestep. He took this sidestep because his uh, the strip ball because his strip ball was missing versus his in his semi final versus me, so he had to have yes. a strip. Otherwise, of course, he would have taken sure uh, sidestep. I'm pretty sure. But, you know, who knows what he would have taken. But I would have taken sidestep on him. Um, but yeah, he, he just had to take strip because he was facing me. The loner, um, I guess the loner thrower must have been an inducement? Yes, mercenary? yeah, mercenary yes. and a mercenary lineman as well. Okay. Probably not enough money to get Clark. So you go with yeah. the next big thing that is just bodies and another player with sure hands. You know, the money is there. So yeah, well, that was probably it, you know, not enough money for Glark or the second babe, but the thrower was there uh, available, so oh, okay. I don't hate it. 
It's, it's horrible though, because he doesn't want to use his last reroll, does he? So you don't want to hand off. It's better just to dodge away than hand off and run. Hand off and run is stupid because you're just adding an extra 2 plus for no reason. You just run away, won't you? But where does he run to? And even and and dodging sucks as well, because what if you're all a one? Like even just using your last reroll is horrible, never mind. Never mind one in thirty six. As a sniper, you know, out of the blue, I've put a massive amount of pressure. Even being down men. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, he's obviously played, you know, either Sniperino's played it well or Milanus has played it poorly because this is a dominant position he's found himself in here, Sniper, Sniperino. It's pretty simple. If you're men up and you feel like you're not men up, then you're playing shit. <laughs> or your opponent's playing good. <laughs> yeah, well, you're playing shittier than your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're getting outplayed, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And there could be factors behind that, couldn't there? There could, you know, um, the dice could be against you. But yes. I don't think anyone's going to say the dice are against Malanus here. No, no. No, 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 certainly not. I mean, the teams are, right? He's, he's, he's 200 odd TV down, so. Um, yeah. They both have the whiz. Yes, that is legal, Cyanide. As long as the. As, as, long, as, the, as long as the overdog spends it, then. Like just strip flat out spends it as long as the overdog the overdog can spend as much as he wants because it adds to his TV. So there you go. Yes, yeah, so your opponent outstrengths him. His opponent outstrengths him a lot, doesn't he? Like you know, he's got the warriors and he's got gutters, so he's he's getting outstrengthed a lot. Sure. And also another thing that happens now that the uh, Nebarino has lost the ball carrier is that the wizard now is not as useful yeah. because if he wizards, who's gonna carry the ball? Some random idiotic uh, goat. <laughs> yeah. Pylon. Is it the pylon guy? Yeah, it is. I don't care that he's a rookie. Pile on him. Yes. <laughs> yes. Nothing. Not a rookie, but you know. Not, he's not a good one. <laughs> and that was good, wasn't it? Getting the chain for the extra block. Nice and now the one. chaos starts to wake up. And Apple works. Yep, both Apos behaving themselves. Oof. That's a pretty huge Apo, isn't it? Because now there's no Apo for the Edge 5 and Edge 6. Well, it's not Edge 6, you know what I mean? The two Edge 5s. And the two heads. <laughs> two heads. It might as well be Edge 6. He really has to. He has got a lot of hits in on the edge fives. A bit jealous. <laughs> All apples are gone. Yep. Yes. Yes. In four turns of the first half, both apples gone. Cool. Not sure about that. Is he going for the ball hit? I guess he is. I yes, here it comes. Yeah, fair, fair enough, I guess. Because at least if you make him roll dice, he's only got one reroll. But I'm not sure I'd have invested the reroll in trying to get it down. I don't think you're too much if you get him down and then anyway. No, no, you just you're just trying to get him rolled some dice, aren't you? Like it, like it's fine if if you get him down, then he's, it's another two plus that he hasn't got a skill reroll for it. But yeah, I, I don't like the reroll. I don't like putting. It's it's, it's co people say colian cyanide. Oh, quick off, it's not cyanide. Lee. People say colian, but nobody knows. Uh, once he wins, uh, if he wins, <laughs> we'll uh, we'll know we'll know because I'm gonna be you know as quick as possible saying that it's me. <laughs> and if Naiperino is you know a proper sniper, what he should do after winning is at least delete the account, you know, so nobody will know ever <laughs> who he was. <laughs> 
Do you not get the title? Get me, congratulations, message, and just don't appear to collect the prize. <laughs> like a proper sniper. Do you think it's hard? I think it's quite easy to just come out here. Well, not with that push direction. Surely you push down here. He blocked his way out. Oh, I just removed him. Like, that push here. And then just dodge over there, and then you've got like a screen and everything. I didn't think it was. I thought it was quite easy to stabilize. He's got dodge. You've and then by pushing him anywhere but there, you've got him on a three plus, him on a two plus. Weird. I guess you could punch this. Maybe his plan is to punch this warrior. That could be a good option. Allows him to uh, recover some space. Oh, I guess this guy can just go out this way, can't he? Because he's at six. But still, it's still making him roll two one and thirty sixes that he didn't need to by just pushing that guy to there. And of course, if that adds you five one in sixes off of tackle, there, there's your reroll. There was the roll. Yeah. yeah. Well, I guess he can set it up so he doesn't have to reroll it. Actually, does he? If you, like, this is relatively safe, isn't it? He's done a nice little spread out here. This seems that he can just accept this one. Now. Yeah. Yeah, it was interesting. Um, Cornite saying uh, he liked. Sniperino's shape here. I thought Sniperino was overcommitted slightly. Char obviously has trouble um, with eyesight because there's no way this only has to make one dodge. <laughs> but would have only had to make one dodge if he'd chosen the right push direction. But never mind. Makes the extra dodges. And now this can't dodge out. Like that was such a that was such a bad push direction. I literally was just saying, yeah, that he pushed him the wrong square. That's why he couldn't dodge that. He pushed him in the wrong square. It's a bad mistake by Malalanus. Gets away with it, but I mean maybe he gets away with it. He should have dodged this guy as well, but obviously couldn't. But he could have tried a four three, but he wouldn't want to. GFI to three dice this guy, maybe. And now the Wrestle tackle is free. Maybe maybe withdraw him. Yeah, I think uh, maybe move back. And blitz the IG5 side step. Could palm the uh, could palm the thrower, like that that strength four thrower is a bit of a pain. So that would be a, that would be an idea. Ah, yeah, just put tackle on the gutter. How nice would it be to have an Agi four dodge beastman on the pitch right now? Be pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with tackle, with tackle, even with tackle, you know. So. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think GFI blitz it. I like going for the Agi five. He hasn't got a rip. Hasn't, hasn't got <clears> also, <throat> is the is the only one that can score next turn. So. Yep. Doubly good to go for. You know, whatever happens, Malarines can score. Yep. And that stuns just quietly brutal, isn't it? Because now the next turn is hard. This next turn is hard. I guess he blitzes with a, this thrower and then runs him down, and then he runs like four players down. He dodges off, he dodges off, these dodge off. So he can make, he can make something. But it's going to be a bit tricky. Right. <laughs> Minty. <laughs> Not as good as that. Actually, five beastmen that got removed. What, the one with the uh, invisible two heads? <laughs> yes, yes, all right, all right. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> oh, he didn't blitz. Big mistake, in my opinion. No, unless I guess, mm, I guess you, maybe this guy could blitz because 
he could stand up and then he might pal a, a tackler, but I think that should be in the blitz to get him down. I mean, he can't score this turn, but what he should have done was to move. Like, he should have used this thrower to protect the ball, because I don't know how he's going to protect the ball at all now. Yeah, maybe putting yourself in a scoring position the previous turn would have been a really good idea as well, in case things went sideways. Yeah, yeah, maybe. But then it was takes dice, doesn't it? And he, the last thing he wants to do is roll a two plus with only one reroll left. Yeah. But I just think he needed that that throw back down there. Like that throw could have just been stood here or something. Well, he he would have made a good screen, wouldn't he? You you could have dropped him down just past yeah. this um, dirty player goat. Yeah. Yeah. All sorts of options for him if he blitzed. I don't know where he's blitzing as well. I guess it is going to be the Dauntless. This is actually pretty decent, right? Because it means that he doesn't have to dodge off tackle and it's a 2D. Yeah, so he puts in the, for the 2D. If, he, if he'd made Dauntless. So yeah, this is okay. Oh, he doesn't keep him on there. Oh, what are you doing? What are you playing at, mate? Why do you keep him locked? these push directions. Oh, that's, that's not good because Sniper Enio could be very tempted to use the wizard. Yeah. Do not like his push directions. You can dodge him out there, yeah. yeah. Okay, that's uh, yeah, that's a little better. A sniper whiz this turn feels rowdy. Nah, I think. Uh... I mean, can bolt one of the rat, the got the runners and blitz the other one. Yep, he's bolting. Bolt, bolts the crap one though, so that's good news for Malalanus. He hasn't had, hasn't had the add five die. Scout was pretty still, good as still well, can't die it? because he's gonna get blitzed by the claw tackle. Yep, yeah, but, but he hasn't died yet. <laughs> I did not like the wizard there, to be honest. No, but, because there was there is no match real recovery. Maybe if the maybe with the club bomber. If if he had his ball carrier here, <laughs> yes, I like it. But without the ball carrier here, yeah, even if you no, get it, no. you probably just stripped and and he scores uh, on you anyway. What that AG four dodge goat ball carrier that got unnecessarily removed earlier, Jim. Yep, that one. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly. That that's that's gonna be haunting Sniperino. Yes, that was a, a really lucky result, but a result that he helped to create. Yeah. I mean, I'm a rowdy fan of the rowdiness and risking players, but when you only have one of a kind of player, you need Ooh. to protect it. Oof. Okay, Ooh. what? There is a babe, but. Going to be huge, especially if Malanus doesn't score, right? Only one chance at the three plus. So now it's essential that he scores. So. You're still feeling pretty good if you're Malanus right now, though. You know, the person that fires the wizard first is normally at quite a serious disadvantage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, he needs to do, he needs to do the GFI with a warrior. I think he, uh, he had to be more, roll more dice this turn, like dodge through there get that warrior on these two and stuff you know and just like do more things because this is looking way too easy for Milanis to just get the ball back right now it's a two plus and he's not gonna get much more uh, difficult than that I think he's gonna go and pick up the ball with the color bomber at the end yeah he's gonna uh, I predicted I predicted but it's two GFI he should have done an extra GFI maybe with the chaos warrior you know to put at least a tackle on the ball yeah maybe yep uh, then it's another two plus, isn't it? And you've already got to make two two pluses. Maybe he's do them before these kind of relevant blocks. Like, I think he's got to try and get dicey this turn. I think he's got to make a lot of rolls. So I think, you know, like this guy, GFI to there and stuff. <coughs> uh, oh, double GFI, double maybe yeah. oh. maybe a pass. Yeah, see, double GFI, I like that. I like, I like making these double GFI moves. I, I, he could have even made more of them, I think. Because this is a nightmare. Okay, where do we go? 
gets it. Not a fucking problem. <laughs> Easiest uh, pickup of his life. Oh, you, okay. Maybe this is a bit too much. <laughs> maybe this is too many dice. Oh. This is uh, who was passing to the claw warrior. Oh. Well, that's what Chunter would have done as well. So there you go. I think it was terrible, but you know. <laughs> I called it. I didn't say whether it was right or wrong, but I called it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I'm surprised because uh, that warrior with the ball doesn't change uh, things that much. No. Mm, I just think. It, do you know what? I don't hate it because I just think it was too easy a sack on that claw palmer go. I mean, it's it's about as easy on on the warrior though, isn't it? That's the that's the problem. That's why I don't really yeah. like it. It's about as easy on the warrior. Like you still just free this guy up. He runs in. He GFIs, and then you still got two D. Like it's... yeah. Okay, you are doing a there. You were doing a two three plus uh, rolls, the pass and the catch. To make him rush. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, I would be... have still had my ball carrier for a start. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> i got to be honest, I didn't hate the pass at all. Um, and I guess that's why I called it. So yeah, I, I didn't like it. I, didn't, I thought it was too too much. I guess once you've got there and you've still got your reroll, maybe. But I don't know. I thought that was too much. I would have rather done stuff like, you know dodge this wrestler and screen you know and, and, and yeah like, that was only that was only like a three that. plus and you get you know a nice uh, piece to cover the the ball carrier yeah. so no it's, it's very complicated i mean if you gotta work it he'll be in a strong position but he was already in a decent position thanks to the armor break yeah well interesting that he's got him up already Yeah, exactly, Doctor Funk. Yeah, there's something, there's something, it, but it's not quite strong, Shunter. It's not quite strong having it on strength four at all. That's the problem. <laughs> That's the problem that it's just not even that strong. Wow, lucky as fuck. That is unreal, isn't it? it gets the one in nine with a loner. Like this was obviously the play. Have to try and reroll that. Yeah. I mean, the other, the, it's not really the player. He didn't have to do it because he had the, he had the edge that could have dodged is through. The roll. This, this could have gone for the assist, but there you go. It doesn't matter. He, I think he was didn't a, need I it, it Chunter. Look, you GFI, you make that block, you put the guard in, and you've got 2D. He didn't fucking need it. It didn't achieve anything. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's because the, the rad was there. You know, the line rad was there <laughs> to give the assist. Ah. <laughs> Although he did, in in hindsight, he did roll a one two one one. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Destined yeah. to fail, I guess. Yeah. Like I don't understand that this guy moving. Oh, I guess they're both tackle. Okay, the fact they're both tackle makes it not so appealing to go through there. Here comes the three dice. Yeah, yeah, the scoring threat. Let's let's flip and go. I mean, it's a good way oh, to get safe wow. with the gutters as well, isn't it? Oh wow, these these block dice have been <laughs> universally atrocious this half, and they <laughs> they really have. Yeah, they have fucking, been. Fucking amateur hour of blocks. <laughs> Reminds me of the semi-final. How bad the blocking was there. The thing is, he doesn't want to pass this turn, does he? Because it just puts the ball on the ground. Yeah, passing is entirely the wrong thing to do this turn. Hence why I haven't said pass. Yeah. Because obviously I'm renowned for my elf balling skills, Jim, <laughs> and my passing game. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> Five. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> you can, in fact, he can even just hit the ball as well, can't he? First, but he hasn't got a reroll, so so he, yeah, he can hit him. He could even could he surf him? It's an extra two plus. <laughs> You don't go for anything stupid. You don't manufacture a surf here, do you? You just... If if you do anything, you just 2D that Beastman off, don't you? And then your Agi 5 is 2-plusing it. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense just to blitz the blitz him and then he 2-pluses it, yeah. Blitz the claw bomb with the Lino. And then... Got a 2-plus... Uh, Agi 5 2-pluses it. Uh, one Kaz, but Apod. And a KO. So yeah, the rats have lived a charmed life against all of this mighty blow for sure. No reroll though for this play. Ooh! Oh, he's rolled a one! Oh, and there goes the half. Unbelievable, Jeff. Probably shouldn't have tried that Lorna reroll last turn. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, easy to say that now, isn't it? But... Yeah, he didn't have a reroll for the last dodge either. Yeah, that's true. He didn't have a reroll for that first dodge, then pop dodge, and then so he wouldn't have had a dodge for the last dodge. So yeah, it was two naked two pluses to score. <laughs> yeah, this is great for uh, for Space Cadet. Space Cadet would be loving this non-score here. <laughs> Only takes the one LOS and probably gets his gutter back anyway. Right, here we go. Three, four, five, six. Double GFI handoff. He lobs it to him. Bob's your uncle. Yeah, the lone hit was brutal. Very, very unlucky to one in nine with him. Well, in fa and then in fact one in eighteen, right, by failing the loner as well. No. Oh yeah, it can yes, yeah, so we could pass the. It's better to that. It's better to just. Hand I mean, he can hand off to him, and then he can. He's not. Even oh, he's just going to do a lob. Just gonna fucking lob it. I guess three dice with tackle's good. Not when it's a hard dice, no. When it when it's like a hard dice, it's bad. <laughs> and this is gonna be like a five plus pass or whatever, isn't it? Well, he's not gonna make the pickup. No, totally wrong, champ. <laughs> and one in nine's obviously better. <laughs> All my valuable input for the last couple of minutes there when I realised I was muted. Brilliant. Hey. <laughs> and they stayed out. The KO stayed out. Ooh. Still got the wizard though and one edge fine. Dimmy's last five minutes. Calcium? Not Dimmy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Boomer. Easy. Alright. <laughs> There's insults, alright, but <laughs> <laughs> no, Malanis. Malan oh I left the thrower in the Oof, I don't think that was worth the Cubs defense. I would have gone rule of five and protected the thrower. Thank you very much. That's the obvious claw pump. Maybe he wants to give him an obvious claw pump target to hopefully bait out, you know, the claw, Mr. Claw Pump bait. 
Maybe that's his idea. If, if the, you know, there's an extra player up for the assist and the claw pummel on the ground, then that will open up more space down there. Maybe that's his idea, but sure does look like he's just begging to get his strength force smashed to pieces, doesn't it? The edge seven three heads got her out. Yes. The kicker can't kick. Does he have a kicker? Oh yeah, he does. He? Yes. Yeah, the kicker can't kick. <laughs> and there is uh, the extra thrower is on the bench. Hmm. No, no, but it's more the threat. The point is the pom. It's a player down, isn't it? Right. It's a player down. He's two players down. If he makes this blitz, he's two players down defensively because he's got to put one into assist, and then the claw pom piles. So then he's down to nine players for the next turn so then you can rush through maybe that was his idea otherwise I don't know why that on earth you would expose your strength four thrower to getting hit it's fucking mental absolutely fucking mental there's only one thing to say to yourself right when you forget to put your kicker in a <laughs> kicking position and that he is... couldn't. He didn't forget. He just couldn't, could he? Because he, he chose to do a bad setup, in, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So you, the only the only word that applies in that situation is bell end. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> nah, you got to rule a five. That you got to rule a five. That crazy not to rule a five. It. In my opinion. But who can say if it's right or wrong? Now, now you just blitz the loner, right? Because you can get back and, and it's safe and the ball's super safe. Like, you just three, four, five, six, and then put him there. And then... Oh, oh. no, no, he's falling for it anyway. He's falling for it anyway. Do I not like that? Yep, it's just my opinion. I do not know anything. I'm just a guy on the internet. I'm not confused. Oh, okay, he's going for the bolt bait. That's the politically correct term. <laughs> But that is, uh, that's interesting, isn't it? Interesting to do this two lines rather than in a big cage. He's giving the rats a lot of space. Yep, but I mean, what can they do with it? Not a lot. It's risky putting rats in between those two banks of chaos, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think you just I think you just blitz the skillless guy and wall off. Okay, going for the wrestler, but this is a dodgy blitz if you're both down. It doesn't matter. It was the wrong blitz, but, you know, the outcome was fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, the outcome's better, isn't it? The outcome's better because now the guard's on the, you know, the guard's down and the guard could have been cast, and now he's kind of st stuck on the sideline a bit. So, like, this is, like, the better payoff blitz, isn't it? It's just a bit riskier. And, obviously, if you think you're the, you're the underdog, then maybe he's going for... A little bit riskier players is good, but um Yeah. Yeah, high risk, high reward and all that. Yeah, yeah. Or well, higher risk, it wasn't huge risk, was it? So yeah. <laughs> you know it wasn't a game breaking manoeuvre. No. I mean he's still got two squares left, so he could still go back to here, but yeah, I wouldn't have followed and got back. I would have just walled off here. But Hmm. Oh, well, he's going for it. He is going for it. Interesting strategy, Cotton.
pour rien, lui. Well, well, well. Imagine if this was wrestling, not kick. I'd like, I'd like him standing there a lot more if he had wrestle. <laughs> I hate kick so much. <laughs> I'm rather a fan of kick. I've got to be honest. In in the right situation, I'm rather a fan. Hmm. Which says a lot about my gameplay, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, it doesn't work on fouls, right, Calcio? <laughs> No. Exactly, it's kicking the ball, not kicking the opponent. Oh, hang on, what? <laughs> <laughs> the only problem with this rowdy shirt copter manoeuvre here is there seems to be a couple of very big gaping holes. Oh, he's, oh. Ta he's based the ball. The ball is based, GG. Oh, there you oh, go. Wow. There you go. That's it. That's it. Malanis, congratulations. Commiserations to Sneberino. It was never me. <laughs> <laughs> Some PS4 Pro uh, gameplay there. Yep. I hate kick. <laughs> Because you get a good kick half the time anyway. <laughs> so, who even cares? Is there a chain or something? Not really, because he's got to either hand off or blitz this guy, hasn't he? I mean, yes, Minty, that is that is true. That is why Mighty Blow is superior to block, indeed. <laughs> but the thing is, when you uh, you only kick off like once or twice in a match, so you get a skill that you get to use once or twice in a match at most, and it's only good half of the time in those once or two chances it gets to work. So, not a fan of it, personally. But, you know. If I was in the business of wanting to crush noobs 5 0, then uh, I guess I'd like it more. Good about. Mighty blow. Off he goes. It's a thing. Who'd have thought that would happen, eh? <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. No, you don't. You're going to use it every, every turn against strip ball. Charm. The ball base did oh. not work. Surprisingly, giving a free assist to a strength four mighty blow tackle hit did not was, did not garner success. <laughs> when you are shirt coptering, um, personal safety doesn't come into the equation. <laughs> but it did control the blitz. Now, how much value he gets out of that at the cost of a gutter runner, I don't know. But he he did dictate the blitz for one turn. Seems like a shit trade-off to me, Jim. <laughs> well, yeah. Who, who are we to say whether it was a shit trade-off or not? Yeah. Well, I roll quad skulls, you know, the debate for quad skulls there. Mm. He's only got the two gutters as well, hasn't he? Like, he could ball and just pass it back to the other gutter. But it's a few dice, isn't it? I think he'll think about it. He should think about the, the wizard every turn, right? E even if he's like, you know, probably not going to use it. You've got three minutes. You've got plenty of time to give some thought to the wizard every turn. You could also just ju just dodge in with the uh, with the, he could he could block this guy, couldn't he? And then he could just dodge in for the sack. See what happens. Started a real debate on the uh, kick skill here, Jim. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I read the, I read the first four words of Skurometso's wall of text, and then I got really fucking bored. So I, you know, no, it was a reference to the Steinemath promo, wasn't it? So it was it was actually glorious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it's promo ever, isn't it? That's just so funny. <laughs> yeah, amazing. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Jeff, you're welcome to that word. Uh, I don't <laughs> own its likeness, so feel free to use. Quintessential British term. 
<laughs> it yes, is, yes. yeah. A staple of the British culture. Almost as popular as such other terms like wanker, <laughs> knobhead. <laughs> yeah. Or mate, the ultimate insult. <laughs> mate. Mate, I'm not your mate, mate. <laughs> <laughs> You mate. know shit's going down when you get called mate in the wrong context. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it, out, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Doesn't everyone? <laughs> All right, here we go. And... Oh, here we go indeed. There's a dirty player right there. Let's see, let's see a blitz through, a cage downfield, and a end of turn dodge foul. Please? No, Jeff, that's a good attempt, but it doesn't quite work. So let me adjust it for you. Um, so what you put is, as in you are a bloody bellend wanker, that doesn't work. What you could say is, you're a wanker, you bloody bellend. Now that works. <laughs> yep. Oh, he's, uh, he's moved the edge five to prevent a wanker, that. mate. <laughs> <laughs> Someone please clip that. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh man, what do you want for dinner tonight, dear? Hang on, let me check. Craig's again. <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to beat Skuro's clip, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was, that was the gold standard from now on. <laughs> Who's he blitzing with? I'm, I'm struggling to understand. Because wouldn't you want to blitz this? Like, wouldn't you want to blitz this this throw with this uh, warrior if you're going there? So I don't really understand what is where is coming. <laughs> this is the final, yep. Yep. Yeah, looks like he's going base cage. We could see that we could see the whiz come in. But only one standing gutter is is sad times for the whiz, isn't it? There is lots of stress and pressure, yep. <laughs> yes, yeah, PC. CCL hasn't changed. There was a really good coach got to the semi final. <laughs> no, it's fine, isn't it? You know, it's just people are too critical, I think. I think people are too critical. It's, it's easy to sit here and act like a twat, isn't it? But it's. Uh... So, Malarose already said that he was very, very nervous, and I can understand it's the final after all. Yeah. But as we've said, that's also our job, isn't it? You, you're allowed to disagree with us, you know, but we're just calling it as we see it. We're no, at no point have we said that we're right 100% of the time. Yeah. Though, I am always right. <laughs> <laughs> the tumbleweeds after your statement there, Jim, was amazing. <laughs> but yes, you are. Oh, I'm sorry I was talking about the game. Shit. Oh, that's a good point, Skuro. Yeah, Skuro is the winner three. But now, the wizard looks a bit more tempting, doesn't it? Because there's no tackle. But there is there is a lot of players in front of it, so I guess he can't wizard. But it's good that there's uh, the tackle over here, stranded. He wants to keep him isolated. Work over this guy or this guy. I mean, he can open this up and get a hit on the ball, but then he can't because he's got no players left. Interesting. We'll probably do, probably move some players around a little bit. <laughs> I have to say, this is an absolute mess. Players all over the place. Nothing works for anyone. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, you know your thought, com uh, your thought processes are slightly compromised when your second action in a turn is a loner block. <laughs> I mean, his problem and is he's, he's got yeah, he's got loners though, hasn't he? Like they're the only yeah. things that can hit things. His team is definitely worse. Yeah. Than uh, than sniperinos. <laughs> Please, <sir. laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I mean, Chalice is definitely not the top level of competition in Blood Bowl, is it? The top level of competition in Blood Bowl is probably the Dome, actually, right? Dior's Dome. Um, and then, barring that, I guess kind of Blitz Pit, probably. Probably Blitz Pit and BBSL. Blitz Pit and B Blitz Pit, probably. Blitz Pit, and then, yeah, but Dome. I know he, I know Skuro meant SFL. I know I know Skuro meant SFL, but he was he's <sighs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> top level is not tabletop at all. At all. At all. It's 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 pr pretty much dome. Dome is the one, but I mean that's very niche, isn't it? So it's mostly Blitzpit is probably oh my god he did a three D uphill and got wow. him as well. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I wasn't expecting that at all. No. I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting that at all. And the fact that he has work. <laughs> Holy shit. And now that that opens up the route for them to go through and get it, but then he can get hit by tackle, which sucks. It's pretty disgusting though, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 3D uphill. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, with a wrestle and a strip ball, you know, versus a piece without the sure hands. Yeah, but not 3D. Uh, like, I don't yeah. mind going for an uphill there, but not a 3D uphill. That's wild. But he hasn't used the wizard, has he? So. Oh, dodge, Bobs. Whoa. There we go. But, I mean, he's got no defense against this guy. Whew. I guess you'd try the 4 plus 3 plus to go, come round. Nothing to lose. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely nothing to lose there. It's a great move when it works, isn't it? Yeah. Alright, look, he's got a 3 plus here to do something, but it doesn't really do anything unless you make another one. There yeah. you go. Yeah, he had to try this. You could have even put in a reroll there. Because you just haven't got enough to stop him getting hit by a tackle. It's him as well. Also, he gets in the way of this guy a bit as well. As there's, there's the rackle, that's even better to get the ball down, isn't it? So yeah, this is this is actually a pretty good move because this rackle is is the even better hit. Now the wizard, um, as long as this turn doesn't go to shit for Malanus, now the wizard becomes a really nice option next turn, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Irrelevant block there. Yeah. Ooh, only the push. No, I don't think it was worth bolting him because you can bolt him next turn, can't you? As long as he doesn't break AV, you've got a gutter. You've still got a chance to have two gutters, and this this guy could have just come in anyway and hit. Punt. I don't like punting because you just lose the ball, and he had the chance of making extra dodges to secure it. So I hate the punt, but I hate punts in general. Is the bow forward is you more likely to be in scoring range next turn? Yeah, that's a square. Don't so the problem, the, oh. the problem sniper has now is okay. That armor break helps a lot, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, ball in crowd. Oh my god! Well, he has punted oh. it as well. <laughs> he has, he has end, magically punted it. In the end, you know, the ball was punted. <laughs> but Sniper oh, yeah. does have a couple of free players here, doesn't it? Yeah, so and this can... tackler was freed by that at failed dodge, so he can actually yeah. even put a tackler right in the way as well. In fact, he can maybe even recover it. He can maybe reach it with a tackler. Yeah, he can pick yeah. it up with a tackler. Mm. Or maybe not. Oh. 
Does he make the second one? That's too many rolls. Is basing it enough? That's the question, isn't it? He thought it wasn't Short enough. Deck. I didn't yeah, think it was I enough bet. either. I think he was right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and the chat seems to agree as well. The full state of not picking up the ball was exactly the same that just uh, keeping the player next to it, so... Yeah, and then I guess he, maybe he bolts and tries to... Well, I mean, he can easily clear this guy. I say easily, pretty easily clear this guy, and then it's just a 3-2... Two to score. So maybe he just bought now, or maybe he'll just uphill again. I guess if you could get this guy as an assist, then you could two D him with the uh, dauntless. Yeah, as I I quite like the bolt here, but it's a lot of dice still, isn't it? And he's still in a bit of trouble. Then, if you don't bolt, then you get the edge five back for a later bolt. Like you, you know, he's he's got the ball on movement five near his own end zone, not on sure hands. And okay, you could hand off, but it might be the mice. But it's it's not an easy decision. It's not an easy decision, is it? It's worth thinking a bit. The rats are still there is, but he can hit him daily. He can just you can just you can just move this guy in here and two D him, but again with a loner. And obviously, if he pals, he's taken care of. So it's pretty easy to clear. Just an instant 2D. Or you can even do it, or you could even, you can even hit him and then, oh no, this guard there. Oh, this one isn't so good. Oh no, okay, I don't like that. Yeah, exactly, Orientis. But you know, maybe it's still the right player, right? It's just, it's not easy to say that it was, wasn't the right player. Yeah, Ori, if he, if he bolted there, he was committed, wasn't he? Absolutely going, pushing all in, you know, but I don't hate not bolting there. Yeah, I think hand. either way was fine. So he's just, he's not even trying to clear this then. I think it was better to try and clear this because it was 2D with Lona. And if you get the pal, then it's a 2D there. Ah, but then you then you don't get this guy here. So it's interesting. I don't know if he's put, put the guy in there, see if I got the pal. And if I got the pal, then bring in the assist to do the 2D, then you're much more likely to get there for the 1D. You can get it, but it's not easy, is it? 4 3 dodges. Because he's sure as shit can't, can't hit with the loner on a 1D now. So he's just going 4 3 2. Wasn't clearing the path um, with the strength 4 thrower an option, and then the gutter runner blitzing out behind? No, this wasn't good though because he failed the rolls. I think I didn't like the way he did it. I, I, I would have done this loner hit, and then if you get the pal on the guard, then bring in the lino to hit there. And if he'd bolted, of course, he could have used blitzers and everything as well to have. Like that was the thing. He made the dodges harder by not bolting, didn't he? So. There was pros and cons. He's still got the edge five, but that might be getting fouled now by dirty player. <laughs> and when I say might, <laughs> it's definitely getting fouled. But he's still got the wizard, but yeah, he's probably not going to have anything to use it, so... Yeah. He probably should have bolted. He probably should have bolted and then used the blitz to clear the path through. But, you know, he's, he's, got, he's saved the wizard for... Um, for open ladder next season. <laughs> <laughs> Four three two with reroll was not bad. Said every fucking elf coach ever. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Four three two. With, it's pretty bad when at the end you might have to uphill. I I think he was maybe he's a bit too greedy, but I can see why why he why he wanted to save the wizard. But yeah, I mean, I agree that he. Should have been. I mean, it is an uphill a decent amount of the time. So Malanus's only hope now is that this um, foul fails. Yep, pretty much. If, they, if this foul works, then he's lost, essentially. Yep. 
Here we go. Yeah. And the board down isn't a success, right? The board down isn't a success on the uphill because um, you can't score then. And then the push is not necessarily a success because of where the scatter goes and stuff. So, like, it was just all kinds of fucked. I think it was probably too greedy to not wizard there. I think he probably should have bowled. Yeah, I think... Like, I didn't... At the time, I didn't hate not bowling. But looking back, it probably was too low odds for it to work, wasn't it? Like, obviously, it's easy to say now that it didn't work. But, like... Yeah, it was just... It was going to be... I mean, maybe if he'd cleared that and cleared that and made it a 3-2, it looks better. As usual, Jim, when Purple Chess says, I would bolt here, <laughs> you need to fucking listen. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. You only have two gutters, and, like, he could lose them more. And you can get these two back as well, can't he? Like... Well, Daedal. <laughs> you also don't like scoring unopposed on turn eight, so... <laughs> eight, eight times out of nine winning the game is pretty decent, isn't it? <laughs> like a moment that will live forever in Blood Bowl lore, isn't it? It's just so good. Yeah. So it good. Is, yeah. Like you've got to do it. You can't you can't be scared of like one in nines. At the end of the day, if that's what you've got to do, that's what you've got to do. Isn't it? Like that's just it. At the end of the day, he was he's already been super unlucky this game when he had to do that loan of block and failed. Like, that was the biggest bad luck for Malalanus in this game when, when he failed that. And now it's probably cost him too much. So now he's uh, just got a hand off, hasn't he? And then he's probably good. Happy days. Oof, I don't like this. I would, I would have definitely kept the assist in. <laughs> I would have definitely kept the assist in for the foul. <laughs> And there is the one turn chance still, isn't there? No. Yeah? No, yes, no. There's, there's a, still the one chance. There's still a one turn chance. So there's still a chance of, uh, of just getting to overtime and, and winning, isn't there? So I guess you just let it lie down now as Malonus. Yes, James. But, you know, like, when, when you've got the worst agility team, like, you know, when, when you're, like, not favoured, like, he's not favoured, right? He, he, the wizard's got to do some work for him. Like, I think he's not favoured in this match. Or he's not favoured by default. He's, you know, there's going to be dice rolled, and he needs those dice to go in his favour, basically. That's the way I look at it, anyway. Oh god, yeah, Singolo's choice, yeah, yeah, that would have been pretty bad. <laughs> Hello, Miss Beltry. The one turn chance with Raps is about 100%, yeah. It's definitely better than my, chan my chance with an, with an Edge 5 Natty. <laughs> this is not Malalanus' first chalice, that his, his previous chalice was with Burt's, and Artemis called him shockingly bad, which is why his Skaven team was called shockingly bad. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, I've just done the maths on your one turn touchdown percentage and it's still 0%. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Is he going to foul this one? No, he's okay. Good. I like how he, he surrounds the thrower to foul him and then just fouls the edge five anyway because, you know, he's the edge five. Yeah, a quick snap and no resistance. Yeah, that was that was a good one. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, he can just stand him up, blitz, run like screen a little bit, like just some kind of like stupid screen. There's there's a vague chance of getting it. Oh god, you can't re-roll it, mate. You can't re -roll. Oh. Oh, here we go. 
I mean, maybe armor. you'd have been cast, right? The armor was a seven. <laughs> maybe you'd have been cast if you didn't reroll, but I think not rerolling is is where the equity's at. I guess at the end of the day, you'll need one reroll for the one turn and then one reroll for overtime, but still. I'm not sure I like putting reroll in there. Well, I don't like putting the reroll in there. <laughs> I'm sure I don't like putting the reroll in. Only two turns left. He's got a he's got a either hand off to the claw pommer or GFI with the beastman to score it all. He's gotta get his MA on here, any. He? Yep. Yeah, he's gotta get a bit rowdy. I mean, you know, maybe it gets cast if he doesn't re-roll it. So, like, it's hard to say, isn't it? Like, re-rolls are a well, funny that thing. that re-roll is so valuable. Yeah, but then what if you don't need it later? Like, that's the thing, isn't it? It's 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 not. It's later easy is, to say you shouldn't re-roll it. Later is over time, Jim. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's right, though, isn't it? You know, like, if you've got to get to over time to use it and stuff, and what if you yeah, just don't need true. it? So it's like... You know, one in the hand is worth two in the bush, isn't it? Here comes the handoff. Yep. And uh, I think the wizard is coming next Ooh, time. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. of course. He can just bolt just to delay, can't he? And... Oh, man. Imagine if he, like, bolts and makes a hero play with a lone alignment. <laughs> <laughs> bolt. Believe the... Bomber and then Malala uh, Sniperino can score. Yeah. Yeah, he's only got two scoring threats, hasn't he? At the moment. Yep, only got two scoring threats. And Malala Nus can have this edge five as a scoring threat as well, going back the other way. Boy, howdy. Oh, you know, is that the pro I think Sniperino, you know, was uh, waiting for too long. Yeah. To advance. Yeah. This is looking like overtime, and if he wins the toss, he can just bang it in. Whew. I was just about to say. I was just about to say before Famir made his comment, which I absolutely agree with. Um, it, there's there's been as like a casual feel to this late push to score. You know, it's it's all been a little bit casual. Oh well, that 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 shows it up a lot, doesn't it? Didn't see that guy chilling out there. Still, I think this is it. This is the bolt. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> As they say in uh, Robert Magnet, huh? <laughs> that doesn't change that much because he wanted to blitz him anyway. Yes. Yes, yes. Uh, Duna, yes. Now he's. Uh, Easy decision. Three plus with a loner to get the 2D. He <laughs> can GFI with him as well, though, couldn't he? He could 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 GFI. So maybe he's dodged GFI with him. So that, you know. But then it makes a worse push direction. Yeah, I like getting this scoring threat in. I'm just going for the one. I was about to say, don't you consider the one D here? Because obviously pals are automatic on one Ds. Yeah, yeah. Good shout. Good shout, calcium. Good shout, calcium. Last nice, nice coach there, telling us how the things work. Professional oh, blood baller, and then he gets the he gets the recovery as well. <laughs> Can pass brutal. next turn. Absolutely brutal. Come on, Anes. Base the ball with uh, the Storm Bermin. I think pick up, pick up, and then and then and then dodge tag with him, and then try to screen with the other things. Ooh! He can dodge the screen, right? Because he's the warrior's already tagged. Yep. And then he can run around and either tag the rackle or or just try to screen you, yeah, tag the rackle. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I think the score is going to be very difficult for the sniper in nine thousand. Yeah. I 
Maybe you go for the 4 3 here. Absolutely nothing to lose. I mean, it's the time to put all the chips on the middle of the table. Yeah. But then, if you, but then there's a tackler there, so maybe you stand him up just so that he can't tackle your uh, gutter here. Just stand him up, it's good enough, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, stand him up because then he can't tackle your gutter. Yeah. Yeah. Oh baby, oh baby! It might not even go to OT. You might just get the, you might just get the, uh, edge five score here yeah. on turn sixteen. That's why when if your opponent offers you a space to advance, you take it every single time. Yeah, that was that. Oh my god, Irre Ooh, irrelevant block. Irrelevant, absolutely, absolutely irrelevant block. <laughs> because yes, that was a scoring threat, but it's not the real scoring threat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy, howdy. Now he's got to really worry about the counter score. <laughs> now he's got to really worry about this this gutter. Holy moly. Boy, howdy. There is no any easy blitz on the ball carrier right now. No. I, I don't even I don't even think you take on the ball carrier. I just think you try try to manufacture a 3D on this gutter runner. Yeah. Yeah. I think you've got to block him. Yeah. And then uh and then and then I would well, have blitz with mighty blow. But, um, I would have blitz with mighty blow as well, but you know. No, he's got his ball. He's got a ball carrier goggles on, Jim. Yep. <laughs> well, run door cast there. We've all been there. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I mean, the, there was no uh, tackle hit, uh, easy tackle hit on the IG5 anyway. No, but there was a th the 3D from Mighty Ball, wasn't there? Whereas now, yeah. he, if he blocks here, he gets a 3D, but without Mighty Ball. I guess this way he gets to hit him, and if he powers him, he can assist this one as well. He's going for the ball. Oh, he's going for the ball. Wow, 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 wow. Told ya. It's the power because yeah. that's how this game works. Ooh, Back then, oh, no, I'm going to learn it. Hero learner. <laughs> oh, my oh, the tragedy. Oh, the tragedy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's kind of crazy, isn't it? That's the thing with Blood Bowl. You roll a six, and it always works. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, right? So if if he can clear this with just like a push, then he can and then he can block him as well, right? Because he can if it, so he what dodge one D him and stand him up and then okay. Oh. Oh. I'll just do that. But he's got fifty fifty to win. If he wins the toss, he probably wins. Both oh. got this back. Huge chaos win. Yeah. It's weird how the chaos logo comes up when it says the opponents won the toss. But yes. <laughs> the logo is the one always. I think it's always the opposing team uh, the one that appears when you are uh, spectating. Yeah. Ah oh, well. That's probably it for the rats. But you know, they did the three dice uphill on the previous drive, so they still got a chance. They still got a chance. They have a better team now than they, they had at the beginning of the second half. Yep, 11 players. They're, they're down and a they, gutter and a storm vermin. But, but they have all the IG5s. Yep, and there's only 10 for the Chaos. Isn't there? They've actually outbashed yes. the Chaos. There's only 10 for the Chaos. <laughs> Advise the Chaos. And it's quickie bam, uh, time for the chaos because all the top uh, players of the rest, the ones that matter, are on the pitch. Mm. And he, 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 he tries to do the same thing that he does the, the second half, you know, just waiting uh, patiently, you know, I have enough time. Yeah, that was so weird. Like, he had, like, I would have handed off to that, that the ball carrier a few turns ago. Like, it was yes, weird that he waited yes. so long and, he, like, you've got to move up because. It, he clearly didn't have that long, and he had to get up here. I don't think it's fairly equal, uh, Chunter, but I mean, like, the rats just win if they win the toss, don't they? 
Like the if the rats win the toss, the rats win. <laughs> like a hundred percent. Almost. Yes. Like ninety percent uh, or something. They can do the one turner because they have side step and enough guard and uh, to do it, or you can they can do a two turn or something like that. So how can you defend against that? You defend they, against they the one turn. They just two turn you, don't they? They just two turn you. Yes. You make the defense for the one turn, they two turn. If you do the defense for the two turn, they one turn. Yeah, and if you if you try to defend against an eight turn drive, they score whenever they want. So like it's disgusting. It's absolutely yes. disgusting how. Yes, because they have you know that's the thing. They when they have a IG five uh, with uh, two heads uh, players around, it's like well, there you go. Yeah. Oh, kick! Kick is working. <laughs> Yeah, like the, the rats have still got a chance, whereas the, if the Chaos lost the toss, they would have had no chance. Yeah, advantage for Chaos, for Chaos because they won the toss. Yeah. Oh, wow, so good having that kick skill. Amazing. Well, that's a decent <laughs> result. A truly underrated skill, if ever there was one. <laughs> In my humble opinion, <laughs> <laughs> the the help me of blood bowl skills. <laughs> well, that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> I, <have to> say. <laughs> I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> Come on, it's, it's it's a kick, but it's not like it's Elf not me, running past. In my past. humble opinion, one of the best commentators <laughs> that I've ever heard in my life. Oh, that was the loner that caught the, the got the ball. Turn sixteen. Ah, if only, if only he'd succeeded. Tell you what, how good was that reroll when he dub schooled with a with a blitz with a blitz of that? I wouldn't have rerolled, and then he ended up getting the ball and, and getting it to overtime. Crazy stuff. Yeah, thick skull, it should be, shouldn't it? Like a, a mutation or whatever. Yeah. Oh, well, I think they might they might go for some some deep penetration here. <laughs> you can you can tag out the uh, strength four tackle, can't you? And uh, get around both sides. Target. Nothing like going balls deep in your opponent's end zone. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just give him three gutters and he can't hit them all. Like it's pretty it's pretty okay, isn't it? Just a line of gutters and throwers. Because unfortunately, rats don't die every time they get blocked. Um, oh, dark falls. It's 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 disgusting, <laughs> disgusting but true. <laughs> I wish they did die every time they got blocked. They deserve to die every time they got blocked. <laughs> Fucking rats. Sorry, flipping rats. Ooh, interesting. It's the same with Norse as well, isn't it? Like, you feel like they should get their armor broken every time, but they just don't. <laughs> Fair enough, Minty. I'm trying not, I'm trying to swear less. I am trying to swear less. I want to fang everyone who plays Norse in real uh, life. With me on commentary, that might be an issue. An <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the foul with a bribe. Yeah. The kicker. Fuck off, Dimmy. See, useless skill uh, kick. Did nothing on the foul. Yep. Wouldn't, I would have never done that. Interesting that he hasn't molested the chaos team at all. I could imagine Chunter would have based up everybody here. <laughs> Had no armor breaks, and then he's in a world of hurt, isn't he? The next turn, like I actually quite liked basing somewhat heavily here because this is he's just left him. He's just left him to make it totally safe. 
And now what do you, now how do you do it? How do you crack it? Like he was in, you you're in a position there to actually, you know, cause him a lot of problems. Just the, these two line nodes here take up these two. You could have tagged him out. Tagged him out. And he could have basically tagged everybody. And then I guess he hasn't got tackle like he's got he's got rack up but he hasn't got strip has he because he's uh he's got sure hands so it's not easy to get the ball but yeah it seems weird to just let him cage freely i don't like that In fact, I hated, I hated this turn from the Lalanus. He just achieved nothing. He just literally, like, he literally put them in places where it's saying, put your entire team in one big block. He just essentially forced them to meet you, didn't he? <laughs> At this stage, allowing the Chaos to keep their shape is a really bad idea, isn't it? He, he forced him to keep his shape. Like, he literally gave him no choice. He cut off this side and cut off this side and said, you have to put your big team into a big blob protecting the ball. Yeah. Like, that's weird, I think. Yeah. So now what do he do? Get everyone back in front? He's <laughs> trying to go for the uphill here. I guess you could blitz that guard around the corner. Blitzing the cage corner and tagging the ball is like peak red it's, strategy. <laughs> it's a. Uh, it seems that it's going to be what happens. Yeah. I think you'll find. I think you'll find that's a GG, Jim. <laughs> the old GG. Yeah. I don't like. I don't like. I preferred a bit more of a Chunter or Inarian style player last turn of really, you know, getting the aggressive basing in. And... Who's to say if it's right or wrong? Mate. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, the perfect usage of the. Is <laughs> how you use mate? <laughs> <laughs> He does get a 2D this warrior now, which is nice, isn't it? I think I would have kept this guy here, or here. Wait. Well, he's sort of doing this turn what he should have done last turn. Yeah, maybe. It looks like the rats are herding the goats to go to the right side, you know? <laughs> Goat herders. Goat herders, you know? Yes, go to the right side. Yeah. They made him cage in the middle last turn. <laughs> and now they're saying, would you like to come over here? <laughs> but at least this is better, because you would like him on the side. You don't want him in the middle, right? Getting him to go in the middle seemed not good. Yeah, he has got the scoring threat, if anything happens. If he if he induces a second wizard really quickly. The after um... wizard. <laughs> I don't see how he's getting it down otherwise. I wonder if it was worth the wizard. Like, I know it got him to overtime, but if he'd scored the one-turner, he could have been in overtime with a wizard, couldn't he? Like, in... he, I guess he did have a chance to score and win in normal time off the wizard. But I don't know how likely his one-turn is. But It's interesting, isn't it? Having watched your one-turns recently, Jim, I think playing the wizard at that point was precisely the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was the safer thing, wasn't it? It was the safer, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was the safer. Yeah. get all the time. Oh, oh. only one reroll. Ooh, he gets the push. See, this is the thing, that the basing has, has made him... Now, now he's got to go for it, right? Now he has to. Now he's out of rerolls. We're surely going to see everything based next turn. Well, maybe it's not next turn. We're going to see a turn where everything's based. And there's, there's already a lot of things based, isn't there? Now the basing is going to... Especially going to if he doesn't really uh, move the cage. Yeah, yeah. the block dice will be critical now because... 
surely he's going to try and generate something. Do you guard lock? Um, do you drop another guard into those two throwers? Guard lock them and then cage behind? Oh god, I don't know. I'll probably, I'd probably just... Probably what I'd do is just lose in the semi-final. Way! <laughs> <laughs> no, you, can, you can use the... Cage round here. Cage yes, round exactly. You, you yeah, yeah, use the, yeah. the Chaos Warrior is one of the corners. Yeah. Cage, move, advance a little. Yeah. Get get a little away from that, you know, a street ball, a G5, two heads uh, piece, just in case. And the wrestler... Uh, you can have guard on each side, right? Like that's that's quite good, isn't it? You've got guards on the diagonals here, which is good. Oh, he's he's going a bit more rowdy. Okay. Okay. This works, doesn't it? Might even be better. Well, he's sort of done what I suggested. Um, yeah. Albeit with more of a Venger bust going yeah. on. Yeah, it's pretty all right, isn't it? It's pretty all right. Yeah, it's... yeah. It offers maximum protection versus the Russell tackle down this uh, gutter. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty decent. Because the other uh, has a street ball, but your ball carrier has your hand, so it's like, okay, you want to come here, you're welcome. He could tag the back with this lino, couldn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, and then he could come in, come in there. It's a th five plus though. I guess I'll just get in the way. He doesn't have to go all in yet, but when he does go all in, it's going to be a nightmare for the chaos not having a reroll. It's been a super interesting game because neither team or neither coach has really run away with it at any time. Yep. Yeah, if the Skaven team was better, then uh, <laughs> then I think the Chaos would have lost. But the the Skaven team just isn't quite good enough, is it? So it's always going to it was always going to need like a bit of luck to. Uh... Yes, the, the Skaven have been very lucky. They barely took any damage. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, if the Chaos yeah. had been luckier, then uh, <laughs> he could have just totally banged out the Skaven easily. Yeah, because there is a lot of Mighty Blow there. <laughs> this is looking like less damage than I usually take in the first turn of a match. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's, that's, uh, yeah he's, be, he's, he's been very lucky with it in terms of attrition in the lower news. I think you just play it safe, don't you? Stand in front. Anything could go wrong at any time for the chaos. Just randomly, with you know. So as long as you've got your Raj fives, well, your gutters. As long as you've got all three of your gutters like around, ready to react, you've just got to play it safely and and hope that you get the chance for something. It's true, isn't it? It's just genuinely true. <laughs> it's stupid. Oh, puts in the reroll. There's been some. There's been some. There's been some rerolls for this game team. I really like Bethy this guy. You know, with a the rookie like that GFI there. Because you know, basing basing the guys without block, it's got a lot of value, hasn't it? It has now. Yeah. No, you can never win plan to win by kicks. Like you've got to get the kicks, haven't you? There's no point. There's no point like saving for equity realistically. Like if you've got to win, you've got to like you know if you, if you've got to use them, you've got to use them. Yeah. Yeah. Quickity is just excuse for cowards. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. The same type of coach that gets excited oh. about Kekwiti. Oh, that's a big removal. Massive. Gigantic. Ooh. 
Yeah. 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 <laughs> Could have had a one day as well. Equity shift. Equity shift. <laughs> Massive equity shift. I wonder if he should have made the loan a one day as well at the end because it works in a three plus, doesn't it? Whereas now he's going to get two D probably and. Yes, I wasn't either LDV boom, and neither was I, but he did, and who's to say who's right or wrong? Kek, what he turns you on like Rick Pylon, son, wow. Well, uh, Thomas is a... Do you need help? There you go. <laughs> Do you need help? <laughs> <laughs> He's in scoring range, isn't he? Movement six. Not missing yep. not missing that. He hasn't got two heads, but he is movement six, so he's in range. Tom is Canadian to be fair. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Skuro, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is not looking a very safe ball, is it? This is looking like I was about to say, Jimmy, on the ball. Yeah, he has to get someone in front of that ball carrier, doesn't he? Yes. Um, in front to the right, otherwise this looks like a relatively straightforward sack attempt. Yes. Edge five runs around and dodges to here, so that this guy can uh, can go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So yeah. So it's a dodge, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so one dodge with dodge, then one dodge without dodge. <coughs> ah, okay, he's bringing him in. Okay, yeah, well, but that, you can, you, that makes it you a 1D. You can still D. go up the other way, can't you? Yeah, 1D is a 50%, isn't it, off the 1D with the wrestle... Yes, with yeah. the wrestle and the wrestle tackle. Wrestle, dauntless tackle. 50%. Yeah. yeah. With one reroll, that that's another 50%. That's 100%. Yep. Yeah. Impossible to fail. <laughs> <laughs> Here we have it then. For all the apples. Yep. All right. Well, he's got this there as is... well. He's got this as well, you'd look at. But, yes. Yeah. There is uh, nothing more to do before that. Uh, just go for the play. Yeah. I mean, you could argue that, you know, you could screen a bit because he's got a double GFI as well, hasn't he? I guess he's got two linos. He could run back. Well, Put one line or there and one line or there or something, so he's got something. Yeah. Base the base the claw pommer with kick because kick is the perfect skill to base a claw pommer with. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that you know that uh, it's the perfect counter. Yeah, he has got the guarder as well. He could put the guarder in. It's 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 just like yep. He's had six, it's, it's so he happening. can just two plus in here. Yep, he's got oh, the guard, so he's still go. got two D. Yep. Yep. So it's easy too, nice. Yeah, he's got the guard. I thought he could recover, but yeah, I kind of forgot he's got the guard. Oh, right, that's. Oh, he's made two. He didn't need to do two. Oh my god, he didn't need to make the two dodges. Oh. Gets the wrestle. You only need to do one dodge, unless he's might unless he's move it. No. Oh, oh brutal. My god. Breaking. Brutal. Oh, and he oh hasn't got sidestep. Oh. No. <laughs> oh. Well. That's a mark against putting the uh, guard in, isn't it? <laughs> for honor, for honor. I didn't like putting that guard in at all. There was no need. In hindsight, there probably was a need, but, you know. Well, it was to get the two dice. Yeah, no, it, I, I liked it. The, the problem was he made an extra dodge for no reason, and that extra dodge could have been the uh, could have been the Dauntless, which would have then gotten the 2D, which then maybe he's pals him, which then maybe he's gets the Edge-5 recovery and everything. But that, he only had to do one dodge. I'm, I'm sure he did. Unless I counted wrong. Was he here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, yeah, maybe he did have to. No, no, it was a GFI off of one dodge, wasn't it? Yeah, maybe it was. Maybe he had to. I mean, he did it, so surely he did the right play. Surely he had to do it. He could have made a mistake, though. But I guess it's more likely I did. Seeing as I don't give a shit about the result of the match, and he does. <laughs> 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 But you know, people do make mistakes because of the pressure and that, don't they? 
And now he needs to dodge with the loners to put them somewhere because things are not looking good right now. Mm. He's got to dodge. He's got to dodge this guy, right? Because he can he can free this warrior with a 2D, so he's got to dodge this guy, whatever happens. Yeah, finally the basing's happened. It's about time. Like, I think this was the right turn to do it, obviously, without dodging. Maybe you should I make some I, of them so first. I think I can see the blitz. Uh, where is going to be the blitz this time? Have a... Yeah? A small suspicion. Oh, maybe not. I was thinking of blitzing with the Chaos Warrior to surf the gutter. Yeah. I move up. But there are not that many friends up there for the... Yeah, it's, it's still tricky. It's still tricky, isn't it? It's a lot of rats. I mean, you can free another uh, Chaos Warrior. All right, hear How me out. We... He stands up and fouls that gutter, and then he 3Ds him. <laughs> Just stay where you are. <laughs> and that gutter runner it can go straight to the pub. Yeah, this this gives you this is there. Okay, that's yeah. the assist, and then you can have the yes, the ball carrier cover a little. Yep. And you can free up one of these as well, and then get that gets your guard around as well. Yeah. Can't follow up here. He does. But where does he go with five? Then it might be okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can you, put him in you, there. Talk. Yeah. Uh, does he dodge foul is the question. No, he doesn't. No, I don't, I don't think you need to dodge foul here. Hang on, did I just say that? Jesus. Yeah. You feeling all right there, Calcium? Getting stuffed yeah, with no. Sorry. Calcium, getting stuffed with It's been a long game. <laughs> the Edge 5 could run all the way around for an assist. I know from five to seventeen, James. So you will get. So you will. You will get banned on the eighteenth concede. <laughs> I agree with the change. Maybe not seventeen, but I agree with giving people more concedes per season. No. Because the seventeen. Per team or per uh, account? Per account. <laughs> yeah. Per coach. Yeah, per so, coach. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that's uh, perfectly fine. Yeah. Yes, I can. Yeah. Oh. yeah, exactly. That's exactly it, Panem. You can't blame him for that, can you? Well, there you go. Doesn't get him. Oh! Doesn't get him. You got to stay based, didn't you? You got to base him. Yeah, you've got to. Oh. No, Probably. maybe yes, it's in a... there. Yeah. That's the job too. Yeah, and then you can't get hit again. Yeah. Four. Now. Yeah. Okay, actually, yeah, his yeah. decision was probably the optimal one, wasn't it? But he's got yeah. the warrior here, so he can he can two D. Yeah, he can get the assist with the warrior on the two throwers. Oh, oh there's got skulls! Oh. Skull Dog first. Skulls! <clears throat> oh wow. my god! And now there's wrestled hit the ball with. Four.
turn 22 of the Chalice final and safe moves first goes out the window. <laughs> I like blitzing with him get guard in the mix. Not really in the mix, but you know, somewhere. Get guard <laughs> up. <laughs> Imaginary wrestle. Oh, yeah, it's kick. Of course, it's kick. It's not wrestle. Sorry, I thought he picked a good skill. My bad. <laughs> Well, well, well. Well, this doesn't look good, does it, for uh No, it doesn't look good for the rats. Malonis, this is a... I mean, you just blitz, blitz with, a, with him and then 2D him and you're good. No, I didn't blitz. Oh, you can blitz with him, yeah, you can blitz with him. Yeah, yeah, it's a 2D first, just block, and then he blitzes, and then it says touchdown. So, yeah, it doesn't matter where he sidesteps to now, does no. it? So. No, that was a weak turn, weak turn from Malonis. This this was not the right, correct use of the blitz, if you ask me, because it, it wasn't safe enough, was it? Skulls would have probably caught him out. That being said, yeah, it still wasn't right. Yeah. I can understand, like, he's got block, and it's... A, Free 2D, but and like these are scarier hits. But this just was not doing enough. It was too, it was too two dice. It was need, okay. Needed a power on the first one, but just needed a push on the second. Not following and piling on for the style points. Yeah, tragedy. All right, guys. That's it. That's it. I have to make a statement. That is it. I did this first. I did this first. It's written there. It's in writing war. It's an official document. <laughs> yep, five years Sniperino, unbelievable. Congratulations, Sniperino. Ah, it's been very difficult. I couldn't comment because I have to focus uh, on the game, you know. But it's been a fantastic run. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, well done. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> Oh, dear. How to say, you know, sometimes you have to go out, uh, grow tired of people, you know, doubting my uh, my skills, <laughs> my football skills. <laughs> there you go. Un undisputed champ. Fantastic. And commiserations, Malalanis. Uh, yes, and congratulations, says Nipperino 9000 for an spectacular run. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was a final, wasn't it? <laughs> yes. Yes. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. Like it was weird because like the the Skaven team wasn't as good as the Chaos team, but then the Chaos team didn't get the removals and then no you know no rerolls. It was pretty interesting, wasn't it? I thought lots of Yes. Lots How of many blocks? Happened. How many blocks have been on the 68 oh, 68 blocks and 41 blocks. And I think uh, Malanese managed to break armor seven times only. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But each one of them was brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, there you go. Amazing, amazing final. Very good match. Yep, yep. Skaven. I mean, Skaven. Like that's the thing. Though. That team's always going to be some two pluses away from winning, isn't it? Like that's the thing. That's the thing with that team, is that like you know, as long as they've got one or two of their gutters away, alive and a wizard, they're they're going to be some two pluses away from winning. Like it's just it's just always the way, isn't it? Um, well, there you go. Thank you very much, Calcium and Fimea. Absolutely glorious having you on. Thank you very, very much. Always a pleasure uh, to be here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.